Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. So we're gonna play as the Marine this time and let's take his alternate costume out. Um, I believe we finished our hunting quest on the last episode? Yep, we sure did. Uh, what do we get? We get some u we get the unicorn horn and some hegemony credits. And then we need to kill 40 gungerers. Now let's check the Ammonomicon just to make sure that we'll be hunting down the right thing. Pretty sure it's going to be this guy? Okay, so probably any of these four. We need 40 of them. Alright. We also completed an elevator. And we unlocked the gungeon. Uh, found something you might find useful, thank you. Okay. And uh, might as well... Oh, look at that! She figured it out. Ha ha ha, not this time, sucker. Look at that angry face. And we unlocked the blast helmet. But now that you've come to the gungeon, I know I have to get the hell out of here. So regardless of your intentions, thank you for rejuvenating my ambition. Ordered something for the gungeon acquisitions department. Okay. Oh, uh, we could buy something, actually. What do you have for us, Torque? The Op, RC Rocket, and Patriot. Did we ever kill Blockner? Let me come in here and talk to Sir Manuel. I I'm just realizing, I know we fought him once and died. I don't remember if we fought him a second time. This should be pretty quick. We just need to come in here and talk to him. Yeah, you got Blockner. Vengeance is mine. You gave me my sweet revenge and I'll never forget it. I'm still trapped here for all eternity, but at least I have my revenge, and that is what is most important. Maybe I'll follow you out this time. Oh, I know, I'll donate this to the Gungeon's Acquisi Acquisitions Department for you. It's my favorite. Now leave me to bask in righteous vengeance. Can't talk. Basking. Okay. So we unlocked the Betrayer's Shield right there. So that's quite a few items on the unlock for us, and now we've got Sir Manuel and Blockner's ghosts out here. Manny, it's been so long, you haven't uh, changed a bit. You were always pretty pale. Ha. 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 Um, let's see what Ox and Cadence have in the shop. Anything we can buy? Uh, duct tape or face melter. I'll get the face melter. It's uh, an electric guitar that plays metal and hurts enemies. Who's mad about that? There's one thing every game needs a little bit of. It's metal. And this is Enter the Gungeon's metal. Okay, uh, Gungerers. Gungerers. Uh, you should be able to find them on the first floor. The yellow ones, at least. I'm pretty sure they show up this early. I know all, they show up a lot just throughout the game, all different forms of them. And if we manage to get down to Bullet Hell... Um, I would expect to see a few of them down there. Okay, first floor, no sweat. It's pretty rare that there's three waves on this room. That's fine. We did not get a lot of money out of it. For all those enemies, we only have three money. Uh, easy fireplace. And I would like to, I would like to go down to the Abbey. So we've got to go through the Ubli at first. So yeah, there's a couple of these Gungerers already taken care of. Check two off the list, please. I don't like that uh, books are enemies. I don't think books should ever be portrayed as bad or. Um, or dangerous. I, I guess maybe with the exception of certain texts, but even then, it's all down to um, it's all down to the reader's, you know, actions and intentions. You can't blame the book. Okay. Oh, that was cool. The gunderer teleported right next to the grenade, got blowed up. Oh, a free chest. Why, thank you. Very appreciated. Blunderbuss, meh. Heart, meh, could be useful. 
Okay, so we've got a key, we've got a cell creep. Need one more for the key, yeah. Alright, so secret room is somewhere. Could be anywhere, I guess. But we do have the blunderbuss to check now, so that's nice. We don't have to hope that we get a gun and then go around and check secret rooms later. I guess we know we'll get a gun from the boss if we don't see one on the floor. Speaking of the boss... Um... Wow, where are these item rooms? And as usual, we are on the lookout for the red-caped bullet can. Found one on the last run, managed not to kill it. <clears throat> you know, if all the other ones that managed to kill themselves had survived, we'd almost be done with this. I'm pretty sure it's only five that you need, I don't think it's ten. <clears throat> and uh, I can think of three at least that have just killed themselves. Two with poison and one with explosion. There might have even been another one in there. I know there were at least two that I murdered the hell out of. Just didn't see it until it was too late. Okay. I thought that would be it. There we go. There we go. Blue chest I am not very interested in. Give me something useful. It's not terribly useful. Secret room, though, um, with just some health. Again, not really what I'm looking for. We do have plenty of HP on the floor, though, just in case something really bad happens. I don't know what that would be, but... Or something really good. If we manage to pick up cigarettes, all that HP could be very helpful. I don't know what else would uh, really be worth sacrificing a bunch of health for intentionally. Okay. Got some ghosties. Oh, there's a third ghostie in here. Okay, not too bad. And that is not a gunderer, that is a gun singer. I know it's not a gunderer, it doesn't count. Okay, so, another blue chest, just gonna break it. Go on down to the boss fight. Um, do I want to use the blunderbuss in this? I don't know. The charge is kind of the killing force behind it. But the, sp and the spread isn't too bad, especially if you can get kind of up in his face. Um, oh, very nearly got hit there. I'm just going to blank that. I maybe could have dodged through it, but it looked kind of tricky. I'm just going to play around this pillar with him. Um, yeah, this is fine. If he wants to unleash those shots... <laughs> right into the wall, that's totally fine. Please do. Okay. Yeah, get, uh, get in the corner there. It's very nearly dead. There we go. Whew! Yeah, two keys. Fantastic. The mahogany, which is very nice. And, of course, our master round for the flawless. Um, I think I am going to come in here and even buy that key as well. And then the door to the oubliette is just over here. So we've got, we got two keys for the next floor. Or, you know, maybe one key for the next floor, one key for a future floor, whatever. Maybe we don't even use the keys on this floor. But we've got a couple. And pretty much guaranteed to get one more. I was deciding what to use for clearing out this room. 
or uh, this floor really. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> ooh, look at that footwork. I'm thinking the Marine sidearm should still be able to take care of business here. I don't think we need the. I don't think the blunderbuss is going to be that helpful for clearing out rooms. Um, at least clearing out rooms and staying relatively safe. And then the mahogany. Um, I actually really do like that gun, but I typically use it more of a boss killer. Um, mostly just because of the explosions given off by the bullets to clear out enemy bullets. Okay, big room. Uh, this is something I wouldn't mind using another gun in, I just don't think it's really necessary. You've got this whole border of the room to, to work around and just kind of keep the enemies corralled into the middle. And then you just fire wildly into the middle of the room and... Uh, and then all the enemies are dead. Oh, and, and then you get hit right before the very end. But, <clears throat> that's the idea. Just kind of corral the enemies into the middle of the room and kill them all off one by one. Alpha bullets, very nice. Um, gives you extra damage on your first bullet in every clip. Okay, so no secret room there. Goodness. You gotta go. <laughs> I was just stuck in that corner for way too long. I got lucky not taking any damage, but still. A little terror inducing. Okay. Easy enough. Another case where we've got a big room and plenty of space to work with. Just gotta find the enemies that are priority, like that guy, the spinny guy. And then uh, take out these shotguns. Okay, regular bullet, and then the blobby slimes. Okay. Oh, we've got more, more friends incoming. Uh, Mr. Mushroom... You've got to get out of here. I know you're a fun guy. But you're just not allowed to hang out with us anymore. Oh, see, and that's why. That sneaky backwards shot. Okay. We have not found the shop yet, or... Well, we found one item room. It was actually really helpful. Um, so we know our other item room is going to be a gun. We can kind of make our decision on whether or not we want to open that chest based off of that. <clears throat> if it's a low quality chest, it's going to give us a low quality gun. And we might be better off just saving our key for later on. <clears throat> it could be a very high quality chest that... Well, we got a... We got a, or not a rainbow chest, a red chest earlier, so I don't know what I would really expect out of that one. Um, but a green chest is not bad. Green chest is not bad at all. We do need a key for the old crest, though. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely get a key out of the shop which is right here. We should definitely get a key out of the shop. Yes. We also got the pox cannon. We've got a cell creep up there. Uh, let's pick up the key. See what else we've got going on over here. Um, this room is a little weird. Yeah, just a little weird. Okay. We made it. <laughs> made it around that corner without getting hit or falling in the pit. Not too bad. Do have more enemies though. Got a couple of green shotgun buddies. 
I'll tell you, I need some more coffee. Oh, we found another key. We could open that chest and still get into the... Oh, well, I guess we could have anyways. <clears throat> I was gonna say we could open that green chest and still get into the old crest room. But I'm realizing now we could have done that anyways, just based off of the one key we had plus the key from the shop. Um, it's okay, I guess. It's not my favorite gun. Not even close to being my favorite gun. Um, I guess I could just kind of use it for this fight. It should do pretty well. And this is, you know, it's in the same vein as the bullet gun. Um, it's the shell. Shotgun shell. Shotgun shell that shoots shotguns that shoot shotgun shells. Thought about blanking. Um, decided I didn't really need to. That one wasn't too bad. Blobby Lord is almost dusted. Oh, I got hit there right at the end. I feel like that's kind of, um, just how it goes. Flawless boss fight until two seconds before the death of the boss. And then, uh, get hit. Battery bullets. Uh, it's what the robot starts out with. <clears throat> it's okay, I guess. Secret room, secret room, secret room? Nope. Maybe it's in the elevator room. Let us check. Secret room. No. Not there, nor there. Nor there. Okay. Well, I'm not very sure where else it would be. So let's just go on down. So, Taylor, um on the fifth floor is going to be asking us to see some heart containers. Uh, so really we need to... if we have extra money we can always buy heart containers when they show up in the shops. I feel like, you know, there's a pretty good chance to find one throughout a run. Um, beyond that though, we basically just have the uh, flawless for the bosses. To, to pick up the other hard containers we need. We've got one right now, and we've got till the fifth floor to find the rest of them. Amulet of the Pit Lord can be nice, especially because I tend to fall into pits a lot. <laughs> I am going to ignore it for right now, though. I'd like to hold on to my money just in case we can come across a special vendor that will give us a heart container. <clears throat> They're not too rare. Um, oh no! Every time. Every time. Just can't get this down to the crest room. Hmm. Alright, so we do have a key. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. It's, I mean, just gotta move along. We'll pick it up on the next run, I'm sure. Uh, that is not a red caped bulletkin. I saw the little... It's got to be the handle of the gun, the grip, that I'm seeing, that makes me have to question it every time. Because it's a little bit of brown or red um, that peeks out right next to their hand. It might just be the color of their hands. Um, but I, it, it always makes me question, oh, is that a corner of a red cape that I'm seeing? No, no. The, the easy way to tell is if it starts to shoot at you. It's not one of the friendly bullets. <laughs> That's a pretty good giveaway. If it doesn't shoot at you, if it just walks around the room, ignore it, let it be. But the second it pulls its weapon on you, shoot the hell out of it. Just blow it away. Blocka, 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 blocka. Oh, get wrecked, you stupid ghosty. Show up in my face and go boo in the middle of the night. Get shotgun blasted. 
Ow. Okay. Coming on up to this side. We did find the boss room. Um, I, I just want to find the chests before we go fight it. <clears throat> uh, in a run like this, where getting the flawless can mean um, making progress towards the elevator, I would really like to get the flawless. Especially because, you know, the second floor, it shouldn't be that hard. Worst case scenario, we get ammo conda. Best case, probably, I'd say, core gun. <clears throat> the holster is also not a bad, you know, not a bad fight. It can be tricky, though, sometimes. Got a brown chest, huh? Not super excited about that, but I will open it. You got the Molotov. Okay, well, I'll take the Molotov and use the supply drop, I guess, for more shotgun shell ammo. Not really what is ideal, but I'll take the model. I'll take the Molotov. I feel like for a key, that's pretty worth it. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, if you're gonna stand right next to an explosive barrel as soon as I come into the room, fuck you. You deserve to get blasted. Kind of rolling in money right now. This is usually, I feel like, when the YV Shrine shows up and is like, Hey, give me all of your money for the rest of this floor, and, uh... You know, you're not going to be able to buy anything for the rest of the run, but you won't need to. <laughs> like, could you imagine this, shooting out four rows of those shotguns at once? That'd be absurd. And a green chest. Uh Not great. Not at all what I what I'd be looking for there. Okay. I mean it's okay the charm bow has some cool uses, I guess, but just not my thing. So we are fighting the Gorgon, which means that this Molotov that I just picked up is basically useless until the next floor. <laughs> oh, what the hell? It, it didn't go out the way it normally goes out. What was that, Gorgon? Okay, I just need to stay in the smart zone here. I am going to switch over to the Mahogany for a second. This is kind of my designated boss killer, although I haven't used it as such yet. I don't care that I got hit a second time there. The first hit is what stings. Okay, so that is the orange guan stone. Hot rock. I think this just shoots out at a... Wow, we unlocked quite a few things. Got the badge. Hmm. Or, well, unlocked the badge. Um, hot rock. Attacks enemies. Okay. So yeah, it just orbits around us like a regular guan stone and then occasionally shoots out bullets towards enemies. Not a secret room. Um, I doubt it would be off the shop. Yeah, it's not off the shop. Okay, what do we want a gun munch? I'm thinking blunderbuss and charmed bow. <laughs> I just don't see us using these very often. And that gives us... Wow, trash cannon. Lame. Okay, let's teleport back to... Oh. Well, I guess I can buy the key. Table tech side I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really like the slowing. But I will take Amulet of the Pit Lord. It just negates damage from when you fall into pits. That's it. <clears throat> I feel like I tend to fall into pits a lot, so it would be wise for me to pick that up. <sighs> Trash cannon I am not going to use unless we can get some sort of immunity. Um, yeah, without that immunity though, I am i can't just fill a room with poison and not be able to walk around the room, is basically what it comes down to. That's dumb. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea where that rock hit. Alright, it's up there. Um, 
Blasted? Yeah, get way blasted. Both of those guys. Mushroom, you gotta go. Uh, thank you, Guanstone, I guess? Oh! That was so dumb of me. My thought was, oh, I'll shoot the boulder, and then the next shot will hit the enemy. But the enemy had a bullet that was about to hit the boulder. <laughs> so I shot the boulder, enemy bullet hit me. Damn. <laughs> Just a bad hit there. Okay, he actually shot in front of my roll. That was... I, I witnessed it. I saw it happen. And I've long suspected the game of using, uh, I guess, adaptive aiming? Or, like, leading its shots a little bit? I just... I, I've felt it happen, I've just never really seen it happen. With the exception of, like, some bosses will start to shoot a little bit wide when you're moving away from them. Um, but I figured that was just kind of part of their intended, uh, attack pattern. Because it always seems to be on the same couple of attacks, but maybe I just dodge in the same way on those attacks. Like tr the trigger twins when, um, they shoot out a long streak of bullets that just kind of follows you around. Um, I felt like right towards the end of it they start to turn a little bit faster to catch you if you try to dodge roll, you know, a second early. But it could also be that I just dodge rolled a second early a bunch of times. But that one, I'm I'm so certain I saw that enemy shoot very wide in front of me so that I would dodge roll straight into it. Uh, brown chest, I'm... I'm not going to open that right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If we get some keys. Or if the other chest on this floor is a brown chest as well. Oh, uh, we should get a key out of the shop. So there's one guaranteed. Uh, excuse me? They must have come up from behind me. I was looking just to the right. I was... I had basically ignored everything on the left side of my character. So I'm not really sure what hit me there. Uh, the shotgun shell, we've gotten a lot of value out of this weapon. Considering I was like, eh, it's okay. It's managed to get us pretty far. Did take another bad hit. We do have a room with a mirror. Huh. And what that means is there's a chest in there along with some curse. Do we want to deal with curse? Maybe. I feel like a little curse is rarely bad. You know, you might get one or two jammed enemies per run more than usual if you have like, you know, one level, two levels of curse. It'll get a little bit, a little bit more difficult. It's not like, you know, we're jumping up to ten curse or something. Excuse me. I, had, I did not know these enemies existed up here. Um, that is hell, though. <laughs> I did not like that at all. Oh, I did not know these enemies existed down here. What is happening? The world is crumbling. I'm down to one HP. Okay. Is there health to pick up on the floor? There is not. Uh, green chest, we will take. And that is the icebreaker? That's fine. Um... Huh, I'm not sure what that room could be. Maybe, uh, I don't think it's a shrine. <clears throat> if it was a shrine, it would have the green lantern on the outside of the room. So my guess would be a special merchant, maybe like Torque or uh, Cursella? That does make me want to get some keys. I kind of wish I had uh, recognized that before opening that chest. Because the icebreaker is... it's okay, but it's not... It's not super spectacular. I, I'm sure we could get some use out of it, don't get me wrong. Maybe I should be using it for clearing out rooms. Ah, HP, thank you. Thank you very much. 
Um, but, you know, a room like this, I just feel really good about using the shotgun shell. I don't really care about, you know, if my shots miss with it, because you get a couple chances for it to hit. <laughs> if the shotgun itself misses, you've got a couple more shotguns and all the bullets that they're going to shoot out. Okay. And, uh... Wow, a couple more gunjurers taken care of. Uh, now, I don't think I'm going to get all 40 of them on this run. Let's not be ridiculous. Ooh, that's bad. Needing a key to get into the shop. E. Uh, so we're kind of at the mercy of the boss, I think, to give us keys. I mean, it's possible any of these rooms could drop keys or spawn the key bulletkin. Which, um, you know, that'd be very nice. But yeah, if we if we can't get into our shop, then we're kind of out of luck there. Okay, um, boss killing weapon. I guess these two back to back. All right, it is the treadnought. So he is vulnerable to our fire attack. We can just drag him through the fire a few times. And our Molotov is almost recharged again. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> the shotgun shell is actually doing pretty good work. Ooh, I got stuck on that pillar. Yeah, just gonna blank there. And our Molotov's back up. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! That scared me. Thought for sure that was the hit. Okay, very nearly dead. Just gotta stay safely between these shots there it goes two seconds before the kill every time every damn time fat bullets look at that look at that pine cone <laughs> uh, unfortunately no keys out of it um where could our secret room be where could it be could it be here or here no or there? No. Mayhaps here? No. I would have to guess it's going to be somewhere around in one of those rooms I can't access. Um, so I will come down here and open, not open, um, destroy this brown chest. It could drop a key. And if it does, I think the play is to go, um, I think into the mirror room. Okay, well, doesn't matter. This is why, uh... This is why items like the lockpick are good. You know, you can use that to pop the chest that you're unsure about. And, you know, I could have used the lockpick on any of those locked doors. You just have the same chance of failing as you do on a chest. Um... But yeah, or something like Master of Unlocking is amazing. Because he just drops tons of keys. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I want to clear out rooms with? Icebreaker's alright. Boom! That last bullet is crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with fat bullets. Like, I... It's just a great bullet modifier. It's one of those that... It, it's the reason I like bullet modifiers the way it, that I do. Fat bullets, uh, heavy bullets is kind of the same way. Uh, I think there's another one, like stout bullets. So there's a key. Got a shop with a gun muncher. Ooh, and bug boots. I like bug boots. 
Uh, gives you immunity to poison and poison on rolls. So what do we have we want to get rid of? I guess the shell and... Well, we might want to hold on to that. Just in case we come across ammo. Almost certainly the trash cannon can go, though. So let's pick up a key. Let's pick up bug boots. Let's pick up this key. So we've got a couple to play with on the floor. And, uh... Let's continue on our little adventure here. Uh, I was able to finish the summoning. That's too bad. So our health has recovered a little bit from the position we were in on the last floor. But I am still taking really bad damage. Like, way more often than I should be. And let's actually switch back to the Icebreaker. Really, I thought for sure that would have killed him. Okay. Oh, I got hit. Ah, see, yes, this is why I wanted to hold on to the shell. We do have Winchester over here with a game of skill. Ooh, this one looks tricky. How much is that going to cost me? 38. Not today, buddy. Not today. Um, I feel like the secret room could be up here. Maybe not. <clears throat> I guess it could be on this side. I know I've seen it off of Winchester's room before. just don't remember what the orientation of the room was like. So, we've done maybe half of this floor so far. Still got quite a bit to explore. Ah, I know that guy counts as a gunjerer. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no! Bullets, bullets everywhere. Okay, uh, I guess pick up some icebreaker ammo. Hmm, green chest seems pretty good. And that is bloody ice. And uh, uh yeah, slower enemy bullets. <clears throat> I always want to call it monster blood, but that's something else entirely. Like, not even close to the same effect. <laughs> um, Monster Blood gives you a heart container. Ooh, I got hit. Gives you a heart container and immunity to poison, and poison uh, creates a poison pool whenever you take damage. So not at all anything close to slower enemy projectiles. I just can't seem to get those two separated in my brain. Okay, this room shouldn't be too bad. Just need to keep an eye out for the little zombie bullets. Okay, very nice. One trigger pull kills three enemies. I like it. Where are you at? There's ghosts. I know they're here. Oh no! Oh, I almost got hit a second time by that ghost. I don't know why I'm just taking such bad, like so many bad hits this game. Whew. Maybe it's just because it's early, first thing in the morning, first thing I'm doing today, basically. Only had one cup of coffee. So far. It will not be my first, or it is my first, but it will not be my last. And that is for sure. Got a long day ahead of me. I, I say that like I, you know, have any sort of strenuous things to do. It, no, it's all creative, fun, goofy stuff. Oh! Okay, so I guess I just take damage if I walk into that, huh? The robot does not. That's why I thought I was safe. I didn't think the electricity would hurt you if you started it. Okay. I was way wrong there. And it did not even seem to charge like uh, like poison or fire. It was just, no, you're you're getting hit now. Okay. That's a weird room. Uh, the shop is over here, yes. Is there health in the shop? There is a little bit of health. 30. The map I'm, I'm not going to buy. Um, I will buy the other half heart, though. Just to be safe. 
I'm a little scared. I will admit. So, what I'm looking for out of this boss fight. I don't think it's too much to ask for. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's too much to ask for. But, if they could give me an easy fight, and then the flawless, and then another heart container on top of the flawless. <laughs> so I walk out of here with two more HP than... Oh god, what the hell? That's not fair, guys. <laughs> You leave my shotguns alone! What the hell? No. Bullshit. <laughs> Those are my gigantic shotguns. You don't get to throw them back at me. Oh, that's the danger of... Those, uh, the red gunjurers. They're just such assholes. No matter what bullet you throw at them, they will catch it. Whether it's, uh, I'll tell you what sucks, is, uh, <laughs> the birds and the bees, actually. Um, the bees from, like, the stinger or the beehive, they will hunt your ass down. And, the uh, oh, shit, I didn't wait long enough to see if that was a mimic or not. Um, but then the birds from the scrambler will also kill your ass. <laughs> oh. Get wrecked, Mimic? Get wrecked, Mimic. Hey, there's the Betrayer's Shield. This is what uh, Manny gave us. And it, anytime you reload, it uh, brings up a little shield. Um, I guess not anytime you reload. You reload, brings up the shield, and then uh, when the shield breaks, you reload again, and that's when it gives you another shield. You can't just spawn a bunch of shields on the floor, unfortunately. Um, actually, this seems like a pretty good time to use Betrayer Shield. Yeah, this isn't bad. Oh, <laughs> that's not bad at all. Yeah. Just kind of keep it forward. Uh, this seems sort of genius. <laughs> oh, I still got hit, didn't I? I did. I know I did. God damn it. And I used the blank. Okay. That's really unfortunate. Wallmonger is almost dead. I'm getting there. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the Betrayer Shield didn't break when Wallmonger passed through it. So I stopped getting extra shield procs. <laughs> Oh, Face Melter! We're picking up all the stuff we just unlocked, huh? Yeah, there it is. Face Melter's pretty cool. I like it. I definitely like, uh... Oh, there's our secret room. Are you a Mimic? You know you have to tell me if you're a Mimic, right? You are not a Mimic. Oh, the D-pad! Wow! Okay. We've got all sorts of cool stuff to work with now. So I don't feel too bad getting rid of... What is it, the shell? We'll get rid of the shell and the trash cannon. Hope for something a little bit better. A little bit better, right? You got to. The balloon gun. Okay, and we unlocked... What was that? The cold 45? And mutation somehow. Okay. Cool. Cool stuff. Um, we do actually have enough money to go up here and play Winchester's game also. Unfortunately, it looks like we probably won't get to six heart containers. And I think they have to be full heart containers. Um, by the time we get to the next floor. So this is weird. Uh, okay, that's three. I'm not sure how to get this last one, though. Yeah, that's okay. Three of them's pretty good. And that gave us... What is that? Oh, Cobalt Hammer. Break stuff. So this is... Shoots streaks of blue. Chargeable. Um, 
I know it's Cobalt Streak and something hammer. I know they're streamers or YouTubers, I guess. Um, I've watched Cobalt Streak play Isaac before. He's really good. I'm not sure who the other guy is, though. I'm sure he's very good, too. I'm, I'm sure. Okay. So that gun should make it easier to kill the dragon, I would imagine. I'll use this... I'll, I'll use this a couple of times on the floor just to see what it does. Uh, excuse me? I'm not really sure what I'm seeing here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm still not really sure what I'm seeing there. But I think I can dig it. Um, go with the icebreaker. And unfortunately there are more enemies on this room. Ah, yes, I like this. The block got stuck on the elevator. Or escal... Uh, what would that be? Conveyor belt. Not a fan of this room. Ever. It's not that bad anymore. Certainly not as difficult as I found it originally. But still. Screw that room. <laughs> and the fact that it is generated, I'm pretty sure, on every forge... That sucks. <laughs> okay. One more room cleared out. Oh! I just walked right into it. Just walked right into it. I did not give it time properly to pass. Okay. So we gotta be real careful here. Pop. Tons of money. Just raking that in. Glass shrine? I appreciate that. Now we've got four guan stones hanging out with us. Um if they want to throw some more at me, that's always appreciated as well. Oh, don't get hit. Don't get hit or all of these defenses go away. I like the orbitals. Um, that's one thing I wish there were more of. Kind of like, um, and you know, I compare this a lot to Binding of Isaac, because it's a game that's similar that I've played a shit ton of. Um, but I really like all the orbitals in that game. Just the defensive and then offensive capabilities of them, being able to get up close to an enemy and use it to block their bullets as well as deal contact damage. Now these don't deal contact damage as far as I know, um, but the bullet blocking is very nice. And if we, you know, if there's a way to like stack up the clear ones, um, I think that's a pretty cool idea. You could do something like getting, you know, a, if there were like three or four of them for sale at the shop or something, I think that'd be really cool. It's like buying um, a bunch of blanks when you have full metal jacket. It's like going into the shop right before the boss and buying it out of blanks. So you're like, okay, I basically can never get hit because I've got six blanks for this boss fight. <laughs> Similar idea, but it's like, okay, I can never get hit because I've got eight guan stones surrounding me at all times. Nice. The big shot took him out. Um, it can't go that way. There is a door that is blocking of me. I need to not forget about... Oh, I don't think I want to go that way just yet. I need to not forget about my Molotov cocktail. Here we go. I'll just use it right there. Bop. Take out those guys. Um, I don't like this. Gotta admit, don't like it. I don't like getting chased down by those thwomp blocks. Cause the once once they're on your tail, that's it. Game over, man. Game over.
Boom. Oh, he got pushed away from the explosion. Lucky. He doesn't want this. I know he doesn't. You don't want this at all. Although I do like that they're giving me so many uh, guys towards my hunt. That's so helpful and thoughtful of the game. Okay. Got a key. I guess I'll take it. I don't really care if a key shows up in the shop. Uh, we need it. Done. I will take the um, D-pad out for a spin. Mostly because I want to get rid of the ammo for it so that it can spawn a chest. Because that's what the D-pad does. <laughs> as soon as it runs out of ammo, it spawns a chest. And the gun disappears. Oh, fancy dodges. Not sure where our uh, blacksmith is going to show up. Oh. That's a gun muncher? Maybe? Maybe? Um. Alright. We'll come back to that room. We'll, we'll come back. We'll check out the shop first and the other item room, and I guess see what kind of chest the D-pad drops. I mean, I've seen it drop, you know... Uh, I don't think I've seen it drop a black chest. I've definitely seen it drop a red chest, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got hit by that fire? <laughs> okay. This is bad. <laughs> this is real bad. Oh god, why did I do that? <laughs> How did I not get hit there? Um, this is hell? Oh! I tried to open the chest because otherwise it would have been destroyed. Huh. <sighs> oh well, that's it for this run. Thanks for hanging out and watching it. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. You can subscribe to the channel as well to get notified any time I post a new video. You can watch me live stream at twitch.tv slash bigbadbardmedia, and you can follow me there to get notified any time I stream. And if you want to get notified of either of those things, you can follow me on Twitter at bigbadbardmedia. If you don't want to do any of that and just hang out for the next episode, that's fine too. Have a great day.